Good evening sleepers, this video is safe for relaxation and comfort. I hope that you will enjoy. Well met, your majesty. Hmm. I am simply joking. You're still you, my beloved. And a crown on your head will not change this. By the way, it looks splendid on you. I had no problem getting inside the castle, thank to you. The garden you are will come to see you. It's been so long since I've been less here. Sort of nostalgic. I was banned, and I had no reason to come here, and the years simply pass. I trust you have no problem reconstructing some part of the castle and of your kingdom with the gold I gave you. Yeah, I was annoying, but those leprechaun funds are always useful in humans' matter. Really, if only they work together and not toward their... Oh, oh, hey. Hey, what with the sudden display of affection, little one? No, my feelings are the same. You're a queen now. If someone saw us like this, it could cause you trouble. I was slightly worried, but I knew you were in good hands. You also had my charm I gave you, just in case. You fought bravely and did an amazing job. Was it? Oh, interesting. Do you think he was screaming about someone close that betrayed him? Oh, I will not listen to the word of the Baron too much. He died because of his foolishness and sins. I don't know who betrayed him, but you need not worry. The one will betray you, you. So, his warning are worthless. Please don't worry, you're safe. I will know if someone were to plot something against you. I got uh, ways to know. Really? You think it could be me? Please tell me why. No, I'm not mad. A bit amused and surprised. Hmm. I see. Well, I help you get back here and you love me. This means I will become a king at your side and I'll become human. I will be free from my curse and finally pass away after a good life. What could I wish for more? I will have power, peace, wealth and love. I don't see what I will gain from betraying you. Stop worrying so much. I'm not mad and I'm not playing on hurting you or betraying anything. What are you willing to do, my beloved? Well, you're a queen now and I am an advisor. It's my role to help guide you. Yes, the reconstruction is a priority with the securing of food for the people. As long as your subjects are well fed, they can endure any hardship. Of course not, I'm just saying. Lodging should be the second step after the field. Bountiful harvests will be coming and rations from our allies will be traded until we are self-sufficient. I expect uh, three months at most. Well, the fairies are getting annoyed I buzz them around so... The faster we are back on track, the faster they can ditch me. Oh man, ah... Uh, May I ask a bit more of what I hope but, uh, with all I did for them and will do? Just fair. Oh well, I may have taken a small compromise to the Bergen without telling you, but I doubt that you will mind. Oh, don't look at me with those eyes. I know you are fine with that agreement, even if I did not ask you beforehand. The residents of Felfame wish for a doorway inside your kingdom and to be protected by the same law the populace have. Well, maybe not all of the laws, but basically, they want to be able to come and go without being taken prisoner as freaks for circus or hunted for their wings or the sort. They want to live around us without fear. Also, only spirits and fate are chosen by Oberon will be able to walk around us. 
some are a bit too much of a trickster to be left alone, but some have a fate similar to us. Yeah, some are in love with humans and can't really come around as they please, so I felt like you would understand and accept this request. Ever heard about the uh, linen sign? A fairy that tend to fall in love with artists. Ah, that's where you're wrong. They're not actually dangerous, but the fact they cannot stay with their love cause a lot of problem for the both of them. They truly love each other, they truly become the muse of their lover, but each time they get away, too far from each other, the human suffer. The love will protect the individual like them. See, nothing too weird or atrocious. It was only an example, but there are many like us. Never did anything wrong with you or for you. It certainly won't start now. <laughs> yes, I'm sorry about this. I was there, but I was making myself scarce. It was a beautiful coronation for a beautiful queen. Well, it was outside the very same day you claimed the throne. The one that ended you, your crown, was the bishop with a very long beard. I do not know his name, but I know he was from that city that was against the baron. You probably fought with some of their villagers. They wanted a good person back on the throne, so they came as soon as they knew someone was planning a rebellion. See, I told you I was here. I was in the water when circulating under the portcullis. Yeah, not very glamorous, but it was necessary to see one of the most important time of my love and also it was before he could tell anyone I would be coming. I did this for the both of us. You really forgot, little one? I am a Kelpie. I can't live underwater. I'm not just a handsome man with hooves. I have a true bona fide spirit. But not for much longer. I want to be with you as your lover and a man. Hmm. I guess the best time will be a bit before we open our gate to help him. You'll show the world that we are equal. The other will be legal ask it to not on us and my position will hold even more meaning. Well, really that's up to you. I rather not wait too long, and I think you are also nearing your limits. Is the bishop who crowned you still around? It was only two days ago, after all. Good. We'll ask him then. I think by the end of this week or the next one, we will have your king and your lover. Well, I'll be your lover first, and we'll see about me getting like the crown and stuff. Man. Yeah, be free of those shackles, become mortal, live a decent life. Of a family. After so long, my life will turn out turn for the best. Oh, very simple. After we get married and uh, lay in bed, you'll remove this necklace. That's it. True love confirmed by matrimonial and physical bond will do the rest. Well, it it did seem simple, but the hardest part was to find a lover. We came along and everything just fell into place after. If what the whole court was returned that will be all. I'll lose any remaining power and that's it. You seem so excited about it. You ask me often about it. Well, I am actually excited. I waited for so long, but it was worth the wait for you. Do you need some help with the preparation for the wedding? If you want it, as uh, soon as possible, we have to get everything done. In the shortest delay, naturally. I'll go get some guests from the fairies you've met. Wait, no, no, no. Well, why not Jack Frost? You grew to like him, and of course, Oberon will be there. You will be able to invite anyone from your family, and. Oh, yes, 
you're right. I, I will become your family. And, well, the kingdom is not part of it, so. Sorry about that. Mm, love you, little one. We'll be together like we dream of soon enough. Of course, I dream of this. From the moment I laid my eyes on you, I knew you were special to me. Thank you for listening up to the end. I hope you enjoyed this audio and that you had fun with it. I am giving you some extra time to pause the video or close the page in case YouTube decides to put an ad without my knowledge. Have a good evening.